Absolutely. And true, real, true sports. Always. True school sports. Uh, true school sports. There you go. Always. Okay. Uh, moving on from the heavyweight division, I wanted to ask. Cause I saw your post on this, and I, I had, I, I know you have a lot to say about this. What do you, what do you make of this whole WBC franchise champion, and them introducing this whole concept of them making Canelo the franchise champion? What do you embarrassing. make? Embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. I mean, stupidest thing that there. The fans are confused enough. <laughs> I mean, everything is by one friend says. Rick, every time I turn around, a guy's a world a world champion. That's Bobby. right. That's right. Okay. I mean, it's a joke. I mean, four organizations is plenty. Then they got to start with more titled super champions, franchise champions, regular champions. The per- I mean, the pearl champion. I saw Amir Khan was fighting for the pearl championship boat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's insane. I was I was reading through some of like the, uh, I guess it's the stipulations of what it means to be a franchise champion. I was I was getting confused just reading it. Like I was reading like if the franchise champion goes up to another weight class and fights the WBC champion, that the winner of the fight gets a gets a a, a diamond belt and can be contender. Like I'm, I'm like, wow. you know what? It's retarded. Okay, <laughs> it's retarded. they're just deluding our, our great sport. It's retarded. They're just I agree. I mean, it is. It is. It's just terrible. I mean, I mean, come on, stop with all these belts. You know, I mean, years ago, they used to have eliminators. Yep. Now everything's a title fight. The eliminators, no big deal anymore. You just excited. The winner fights for the world title match. Everybody get excited. The who's going to fight the eliminator. Now eliminators don't mean anything. Yeah, what's so that? For the champion. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you know, Look, look, look what they're doing to Dillian and White. Dillian and White's been number one for like six, 600 days now in the WBC. They can't get a title shot. He can't buy a title shot. No, no, you know what's more embarrassing than the WBC? What? W- WBA? Is Eddie Hearn not going to court for his fighter? He's not going to court? What's that? You, you, you said he's not going to court? No, he's never gone to court. Well, what has he done for his fighter? Yeah. Nothing. He's, he's just playing the political game, going along with it. Yeah, he said I he was. Know. He said he was going to sue him, but that remains to be seen. Come on, if your uh. mother had balls, she'd be your, she'd be your father. <laughs> yes, you got a point. That perfect. Come on. That's true. It's been, it's been well over. It's been well over two years. If he hasn't done anything already. Two years later, you don't see nothing happening, do you? Nope. And I mean, now they got him fighting Oscar Rivas, the dangerous fight. Yeah, you know what? Oscar can punch, but he's not much of a boxer. He's very short for heavyweight. Dillian White's good size. Dillian White should win. I don't see why he's not gonna. He should, but you know, in the heavyweight division, you just never know, man. So one punch separates all. I agree. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's steak with one punch and, 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 and being and with one punch thrown, it's steak. Uh, if you're throwing it and, and if you're catching it, it's beans. So what the hell? Hey my fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps and you're watching True School Sports.